Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a rather unique multi-tool. This is called the Puna and it's made by 3Coil. So right off the start, what you'll notice is when this thing is all assembled, that it is going to mimic an AR rifle, uh, which for gun enthusiasts, that is going to be a pretty cool thing. So it comes with a number of different functions. So a couple of things that come with it first. The magazine for this, uh, this rifle platform, uh, if you will, it's going to include two different screwdrivers. You have a 1.2 millimeter flat driver and you have a number one Phillips that come with it as well. The downfall to this is you can only carry one with you at a time. So when you're carrying it in a pocket, you'd want to have the screwdriver up. Now, if you want to use it and you want to have a T-handle to it, you can flip it around and now that gives you a pretty nice handle. Though it doesn't sit particularly straight with it, uh, it does give you that extra leverage. The fact of the matter is, though, is that because of the way these are integrated into this, these this uh, thing is just wide enough by itself that you can get enough torque on it with your fingertips in order to loosen and tighten uh, the types of screws that, that you'll be using something like this for. So this is actually pretty coolly integrated. Now, in the body of it, it's going to include a bottle cap lifter. And the space back here is to allow for a keychain to go across uh, or to go into so you can carry it on a keychain. Now they also, on the rail of this thing, it has uh, for mounting accessories. I haven't really looked into what accessories might come with this, but there is a rail mount there that uh, apparently you can get accessories from 3Coil that will integrate into this as well. Now what makes this one unique and what makes it special is that when you depress the trigger, now the stock comes off and that exposes a scalpel holder that will hold number 11 scalpels. And then if you unscrew the barrel, this is going to expose the little hex driver that you'll need in order to switch out that scalpel. So I like the fact that these are held in by screws. It makes it very stable. Uh, it's a little bit more tedious to switch out scalpel blades, but it makes it so that there's zero rattle whatsoever in this. Now, what I found unique about this or found interesting is when this thing is locked in, it's actually locked in there very, very well. This is not something that is going to just accidentally come open. The only way to get this thing out is to depress that trigger. You really can't rattle it out of there. I was really surprised with the engineering behind this, how well that was done to allow that, that scalpel blade holder to set in there as tightly as it does. So a, a, a little bit of functionality to this little thing. Now this thing runs 50 bucks or just under, it's like 48. So this is, while most people are gonna consider this more of a novelty item, it actually, it does have some pretty useful stuff on it, but it's not gonna come with a novelty price at $50. It's actually pretty expensive. It's more for the cool factor than anything else. Now it does come included with four additional scalpel blades, number 11 blades. And let me I'll back the camera up here just a little bit. It also includes a little carrying case, uh, a waterproof case where all this came disassembled and seats in here. So you do have more of a gift box case, or if you wanted to just keep this as your little novelty item, uh, just set it on the shelf. It has a, a, a very nice uh, weatherproof case that goes along with it. So this is the Puna by 3Coil. Now this is not exactly small either. It's gonna be just under four inches in overall length. It's about three and seven eighths of an inch long. And the width on here is gonna be right at maybe an inch and three sixteenths, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood, just shy of an inch and a quarter. The thickness on it is about five sixteenths. It might be close to three eighths. So uh, it's pretty thin in profile. The weight on it is it's just super lightweight. It hardly weighs anything. I would give it probably a couple ounces at most. One drawback to this is I wish that you could carry both of the little drivers on there because that's part of what makes this thing useful. Uh, it, for me though, you know, I, I, because this is not a little micro driver instead of a number one Phillips, I think I would personally carry the little uh, flat driver with it as opposed to that number one Phillips. So again, this is the Puna from 3Coil. I'll leave some links down below for those that are interested in it. Uh, it is, it definitely is high on the cool factor, on the practicality factor, or you know, on the practicality uh, a scale, I really don't know. That's something that you'll have to decide for yourself. At any rate, the Puna from 3Coil. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib, and I appreciate your views, and I will see you in the next one.